Hi everybody, I'm Luisa Kakpo, I'm a project manager then on the HIV hack. Um, so I'll present you a little bit what exactly we're trying to do. So I think uh, we've said a lot about HIV drug resistance and why we're interested in it, but we still prepared a little video that can kind of explain our approach to the problem as well. So enjoy. There are over 36 million people still living with HIV, which remains to be one of the deadliest viruses known to man. Over the years, better drugs and convenient treatment regimes have made great progress in increasing the life expectancy of millions of people around the world. Access to lifetime treatment is a key to its success. However, interruption in treatment allows HIV to replicate and mutate. When mutations occur in the presence of drug in the body, it can create variants of the virus for which the standard treatment is no longer effective. This phenomenon is referred to as HIV drug resistance. HIV drug resistance is a real problem and it can undermine the progress we are currently making to deal with the HIV epidemic if early and effective action is not taken. With the right data, we seek to understand what leads to these interruptions in treatment. In other words, why are patients not taking or not able to take their pills when they should? HIV hack is calling out to all experts to share their data, ideas, and skills to identify and quantify the presence of HIV drug resistance. Phase 1. Connect players and gather data. By connecting to active players, we plan to unlock access to valuable data and gain multiple views to the problem. Phase 2. A two-day international hackathon. Using the expertise and creativity of the participants, we plan to gain valuable insights into the spread of HIV drug resistance and develop a method to identify hotspots of HIV drug resistance. But we won't stop there. Phase 3. Deliver solutions. The winning solution from the hackathon will be shared with countries struggling with HIV drug resistance. Winners will be given the opportunity to join a world-class team of researchers to coach local data experts on how to deploy the solution. The result may impact millions of people's lives. We need to act now before this problem grows and we lose control over the HIV epidemic. Join the hackathon and together we can fight HIV drug resistance. This was um, our little video. I hope you know, see better what we're trying to do. Um, it doesn't work. So, what is to come? So these are the three phases we introduced in the video. So connect players and gather data, the hackathon itself, and then uh, delivering what we find during the hackathon. We are currently in phase one, so that's why we're here tonight. Um, to connect to active people in HIV, but also people that know nothing about HIV, but could contribute from their different stand uh, point to the problematic. So these are really the, the two greatest challenges. Um, we believe that the success is uh, going to be due to ho how many people we can bring to the problem and how diverse these people are. Then, of course, uh, there's also the data part, which is important because well, we don't have a data science hackathon without data. Um, this is why we're also looking to make partnerships here and also locally so that we can um, make people collaborate and share the data and so that we can, uh, can find something usable for the hackathon. So, of course, we won't limit um, our data to the hackathon. So, as Annalise said, some people for the Dengue hack use Twitter feeds. 
So we are totally free to find your own data set. Um, if you have any idea, any brilliant, brilliant idea, you are encouraged to follow it. Um, so voila. The next phase, oh sorry, to continue, uh, so since the hackathon is uh, for in six months, we have organized, we will organize a series of workshops to continue the contact and the exchange. So we have a few subjects that are fixed yet and uh, some dates so you can book your calendars. Um, the first one will be of course on HIV, so we're not sure yet how we're going to bring data science in it because the goal is to invite people that don't know much about HIV but much about something else to come. We have another one for social network analysis. So uh, we are working on building kind of what Google does, but only for HIV. So we are scraping the web to find pages of HIV organizations and then uh, save all the links to other HIV organizations so that we can build like a map of the organizations and have an idea of who is important, where, who is active, where, because Especially uh, in Africa, there are a lot of non-profit organizations that do work related to HIV. And so we want to be relevant in the people we try to contact. So this workshop will focus on this data set and then introduce techniques of social network analysis. Then, of course, uh, especially with a global health issue, it's important to stay ethical, especially when you see recently with Facebook uh, scandal and so. So we want to also bring some awareness to the people that do data science of um, the fact that the, the models they build do have some impact. Um, and well, so this is the, uh, one of uh, the workshops. If you have any idea, if you have expertise that you want to share, you're welcome to suggest your own workshop. Uh, we will uh, gladly host it. So next is the hackathon itself. So for those of you who don't know what a hackathon is, it's basically just in a specific uh, duration, so two, three days, we focus on a problem and try to have an entire solution by the, by the end of the hackathon. Um, the goal of this hackathon, as been said before, is to map the hotspots of HIV drug resistance. So that's kind of a holy grail because we need to know why, where, and when HIV drug resistance is uh, spreading or important. So you really need to have a big overview of the problem. And I have this little pyramidal representation here because we are aware that is, uh, it's a super optimistic goal. And every building block here is important towards this goal. So we defined some use cases, for example, mapping sexual activity. So HIV drug resistance, HIV, sexual activity makes sense. Um, for example, if we know better where sex workers are the more, most active, we can have already some insights into the uh, bigger problem. Same thing for drug stock outages. If you don't have drugs and access to medications because you don't have it in your pharmacy, you have a problem. So this is, these are all different challenges that we will try uh, to propose by finding the right data. We have a last one which is based on text mining. So there's a lot of information in written reports published by organizations and by uh, countries. And this information is kind of hidden in all the files. So by using text mining techniques, we hope to kind of extract information from there that can, be, can deliver insights into the, the bigger problem. So you can also note that we have like missing bu building blocks. So this is kind of to emphasize that this is our view on the, problem, on the problem. But of course, if you have your own idea, your own building block, you are welcome to share it with us and suggest it so that we can incorporate it in our project. Um, phase three, so this is kind of the important point of our project. As Wim said, we are really doing this into, um, with a mindset of having something sustainable. So after the hackathon, we're going to bundle the sol solution into something that's actionable, give the opportunity to the winners to go locally, share what they did, um, the share the use and make the project they created uh, to the people that will use it so that these people can make this project theirs and we really have like a sustainable uh, impact locally and hopefully they share it again with their peers. Um, so we are on social networks. You are free to, well, welcome to follow us, spread the world, uh, visit our website for some updates and uh, thank you.